Hello, my name is Charlie. In this video, we're going to be making a 3D fluid simulation in Blender. Enjoy! Okay, let's start up by scaling our cube into a rectangular prism. Once we do that, let's go into wireframe and then front view. Now let's make a cube put in the upper left hand corner after we scaled it up. Now let's get rid of the light and camera as we will not be using those in this simulation. Add in some obstructions so that the water flowing around it will look neat. As many as these as you would like. It could be different shapes, sizes. Let's add in another one. This time, let's make it a vertical rectangular prism. You could even add ridiculous shapes like a monkey. Scale it up a little bit and bring it to the bottom. Now let's set the biggest cube as the domain. Let's give it a liquid domain type. And let's give the source a, a flow fluid. And let's make that flow type a liquid. Now for all of our obstacles, let's set as an effector and make it a collision, all three of them. Okay, let's bake our data in. After making sure that the viscosity preset set to water, as we want the liquid to be water. And now let's bake in the data. After it's finished baking, Let's take a look at what it looks like. It looks really nice. Let's turn off the liquid and turn on the mesh. And now let's bake the mesh. Now there's more substance instead of just particles. As you can see, a few of the objects are actually beneath the liquid. So let's move them up. And now also let's make a floor, scale it out, and bring it below the water. Now let's take a look at what it looks like in the rendered view after we add in an environment texture. Let's set it as an HDR, which stands for a high dynamic range image. Let's open it up. This will allow unique light to be put on our objects. Now let's add in some unique materials so that it looks um, more vibrant. Move the plane so that the water is more centered in the plane. Now let's reduce the roughness of the water material so it looks more like water. Let's also make some materi other materials for our um, colliders. I'm thinking about more like a greenish color. Let's also make it a glossy, so that it'll look uh, more metallic after we reduce the roughness to zero. Let's do the same for the other two objects, colliders. Let's make a brownish type of color for the monkey, zero roughness so that the light reflects. And finally, the 
horizontal rectangular prism. Let's give it a pinkish color. We don't need this uh, cube anymore. Let's get rid of it. And let's play our animation to see what it looks like. Let's also change the material for the floor to a darker metallic color. And that's the animation. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.